fact that our actions can come back and be part of what happens to us in the future. And so um, I'm not saying that blogging is good, bad, or indifferent. I'm just saying that if you do, and people are aware of it, then it can color the steps that are taken down the road. If, so that's if I may, if I could explain, I thought you meant in my professional career working had I had any input or anything with the Council on Aging. As far as blogging, yes, I did call the old Colony Elder Services. Um, there was a group of people that was trying to get the Standard Times and the Wareham Courier delivered with the Meals on Wheels program like the Wareham Observer was. The woman I spoke to said absolutely not. As good of an idea as it is, as noble as it is, nothing is to be delivered with the Meals on Wheels except for the Senior Beacon. Period. End of story. So if that was the blogging comment, then yes, I did blog about that and what I found out and what I was told. You are correct. I, again, I apologize. I thought you meant my professional career I had I had interactions with I Council say, on Aging. I did actually. I mean, I, it was kind of, it, it wasn't one way or the other. And the only reason why I, don't, I didn't know anything, I just was asking about the blogging because it was brought up earlier. So I... So I, I don't know, I mean, as far as that, but <laughs> let's go back because you just brought that up. So the council on aging, so I would say you try to contact Old Colony Services to get additional newspapers delivered and they said no? Correct. Um, we had a couple people that were talking with the Standard Times and the Wayham Courier. They were going to try to get old papers that weren't delivered or whatever to be a group and have someone come pick them up and bring them down here so they could be delivered also with the Meals on Wheels like the Wayham Observer was at the time. Once the few of us had all these components in the place and we were ready, I made the phone call to Old Colony of Elder Services to see if, if we could do this, if there was someone here we had to speak to, if we had to speak to them, obviously, and have the papers also being donated, delivered to the Meals on Wheels. Why wouldn't you and just go to the director? The director of... The Council on Aging. Because I know that Old Colony Elder Services provides the Meals on Wheels. That's not done through the director of the Council on Aging here in town. Okay. Any more questions for Mrs. McDonald? Madam Chair. I just want to applaud you for volunteering. It looks like we have four vacancies. If we do fill the two, there's two more vacancies to be filled. I would appreciate if more people come forward, like the comment I made earlier. We need people to volunteer. Don't be afraid of volunteer. We need volunteers. There's four more vacancies, and we need them full. And thank you very much for volunteering. You're welcome. What's the pleasure of the board? Mr. Holmes, I believe you want to make this motion. I make a motion that we appoint uh, Liz McDonald. I'll second as a that. Member on the Housing uh, Council on Aging Board of Directors. Second. With a chair not to expire no later than June 30th, uh, 2013. Second. Second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Aye. Stains 320. Good luck. Thank you. Do I have to go see the clerk? You will have for to be sworn, sworn in. in, yes. Do I do that tomorrow? At your convenience. We should have to take work down there by then. Okay. And hopefully they'll have a, right. a, a uh, She's, she's new actually here if you want to stop and ask her yeah, on your I way out. In the yeah. back. You might want to check her schedule because okay. things get crazy. The hopefully. year's going to close tomorrow. Okay. And hopefully we'll awesome. have the new open meeting law. Right. Uh, available too, I think, July 1st. July 1st. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> and then I'd like to make a motion to appoint Sandra Fleet as a member of the Council on Aging with a term to exp uh, Council on Aging Board of Directors to a term to expire no later than June 30th, 2013. Second. For discussion, I'd just like to remind the Board that Mrs. Fleet's has been recommended by the Council on Aging. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstained? It's 500. Zero, zero.
Thank you, Mrs. Fleet. I know Mrs. Fleet personally as well. She spent a lot of time in gerontology. She's, she'll be an excellent addition to the board. Sorry she couldn't be here this evening. We have a little bit of a dilemma in front of us, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we have um, the Library Board of Trustees who has been going back and forth on um, whether or not they want to make recommendations. And I told them this afternoon that um, I would bring that information to the board, that they have decided that they would like to make recommendations. But in light of the fact that that happened very just in the last few days, and we have an applicant for the Library Board of Trustees who was invited here this evening based on the premise that the Library Board of Trustees was not going to make any recommendations, I'd like to ask Mr. McDonald to come forward to the board, please. Good evening, Mr. McDonald. Would you like to explain your interest in the Library Board of Trustees, please? As long as I don't have to go over my background one more time, because I think you've heard it three times and it's getting a little old. But um, Just your interest in the Library Board of Trustees would suffice. <laughs> my interest Thank in the you. library goes back to when I was very young. My father used to take us after Mass on Sunday to the library when he worked on his postgraduate work, and I fell in love with reading. I fell in love with going to story times. I, I've been an avid reader my entire life, and I think my interest is more in volunteering and also with the library because I think there's several services that the library offers to the community that needs to be offered and continue to be offered. And I, I followed the uh, decertification process last year, and I just want to be part of the committee and help to bring everybody together and quit all this fighting. and all this arguing uh, that's going on, both sides, blogging, whatever it is, let's all just kind of work together and try to build a better community. Does anybody have any questions for Mr. McDonald? I just have one. Um, why didn't you apply for the library trustees board when we had nine vacancies and we were begging people to apply? If, if it's, Do you, you want, I, I'll tell you why, uh, up until, I guess April 7th when I put in my application, I really didn't feel like I had much of a chance of getting appointed. I mean, we've all seen me in, in the past uh, go round and round with Bruce, uh, a former chairman of the committee, and uh, I just frankly didn't think I had much of a chance. So I stayed until I felt like uh, I had an opportunity to come before the board and have a chance. Do you have any questions? Anybody else have any oh. questions, Mr. Holmes? Uh, Mr. McDonald, you and I know each other, correct? We do. Um, this week I, I watched a, um, a sort of debate, if you will, about libraries and municipalities. Everybody knows that we have financial issues, uh, state cuts, federal cuts, and the discussion was about not whether to close libraries, but the discussion was more about our uh, libraries is relevant today, and do we need to have these monstrosities, not in Wayham, but in some communities, where they may have four or seven or even